some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Orlando, Florida with uh, Well Zacky Boy, a.k.a. Liberty Troll, as he uh, well defies the logic of fences and gates and gets a trespass from a post office parking lot uh, because, you know, he's not supposed to be there because of fences and gates, but he has no idea what those actually mean anyway. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good, how are you doing? Just a single stamp? Yes, ma'am. You know, I would uh, tell Zacky Boy here to actually read Poster 7 and uh, read the whole dang passage about this uh, situation. But I know uh, Zacky Boy has little to no reading comprehension. Well, actually, he might, but it's more of a selective reasoning skill. I mean, he selects what he wants to understand and he discards the rest. Much like his old butt buddy, Venom Fang X. And you know, it's a damn shame that Liberty Troll didn't learn a damn thing from what happened to Sean back in the day. I mean, he was run through the ringer because of the shenanigans that he pulled back then. And uh, Troll is pulling the same thing now. How much is it now? 66 cents still? Or? Mm -mm. It's 73 cents. Wow, it's gone up. Yes, sir. Do you happen to know offhand when it went up? Um, earlier this month. Oh. Is there any pennies in there? You can keep the pennies if you don't mind. No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. A receipt. That's right. You have your wonderful one. Feel free to do our customer survey. All right. I will. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. All right, Liberty Trollers, we're outside at the back of the United States Post Office. This is the loading dock area. We just walked through this open gate over here. There's other private businesses like going down this way, but this is occupied by a governmental entity, in this case, a federal entity, federal government. They do have cameras out here, as you can see. Uh, there's no signs that say no trespassing. It just says do not block entrance, okay? Now we are not a car. We are a person just walking around, taking a look, see, at the vehicles that we pay for with our taxes. So gates and fences have no meaning to frauditors whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that's the typical BS we got going on right here. Not to mention the fact, uh, frauditor, you are spreading uh, misinformation about the post office. The post office may receive grants from the government, but at this time they are entirely self-funded through the sale of stamps and package material, you dumbass. If you were truly a journalist, you would investigate this or actually go to the local postmaster and talk to them about this. I mean, I'm sure they'll be glad to inform you uh, on the truth of the matter, uh, so that way you're not exactly spreading lies around. But alas, you're not a, a journalist. You're just a dumbass with a camera who thinks he's a journalist and therefore doesn't put in the work of an actual journalist. I wonder what that sign says. That's for carriers.
So it appears they own all of this space here. They're renting or leasing all the space. And then they've got more uh, vehicles over here. Oh no, I'm fine. Oh, I was, there's no signage or, oh, I'm not blocking the entrance right here. Just, I'm just getting some shots. I'm not staying in the way or anything. According, yeah, I, I know, I know it's federal. It's, uh, it means federal means public though. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> the Pentagon is a federal building. That does that make it public? Does that mean you have the right to walk right in there and harass the employees there? Uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? I doubt that you'll do it, though, because you frauditors don't have the balls to uh, audit these uh, kinds of buildings. It's very high security, you know. It's not. This is not public. This is not public. Okay, well, public. do you have a no trespassing sign or a no okay, pedestrian? Or... Stay right here. Okay, I'll stay here. Stay right here. That's fine. Just remember, you told me to stay here, so. I told you to leave, and you didn't leave. But then you told me to stay here. I said leave. How about that? Leave, sir. That's not very nice. Leave, sir. You're not supposed to be here. I don't know what you've done back here. Why you're back here. Yeah, I told you. I'm just taking some pictures. You don't know what you're doing. You're doing. I just told you. I'm making, I'm taking some pictures. It's obvious what I'm doing. I'm, I've got my camera out. No, at this point, uh, Zachy boy, it's obvious that you are trespassing according to Florida law. You were asked to leave and uh, you're refusing to do so. Therefore, you are trespassing. I mean, shouldn't the gate and uh, fencing been an obvious clue that you may have been entering a restricted area? I know I'm going to say this again and again with these frauditors, but these frauditors tend to lack the brain cells to comprehend that barriers might indicate something. I do. Why would you need to see a badge? Because this is federal. I need your badge. Yeah, I know it's federal. It's public. No, that's public. This is federal. Yeah, federal means public. Your badge? It, it doesn't. But your badge? Why would I need a badge? Your badge, sir? Is that your personal phone? Your badge, sir? Why would you need to see a badge? Okay. Go right now. What was your name? Are you the station manager or postmaster? Supervisor, if you want to have a conversation, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Hey, you bloody idiot. Uh, this woman is quite busy with something. Uh, she's busy with doing, uh, oh, what's that thing called when people uh, perform tasks uh, in exchange for uh, money? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's called a job. Something you wouldn't understand dude she has a job that she's got to do she doesn't have time to stand around and listen to a moron like you jabber on about uh what you believe to be true uh or anything of that nature when clearly you're a complete moron to begin with and uh, a complete loser at that because why else would you be hanging around a restricted area bothering employees of the post office uh who are trying to do their job and don't give me that. It's my constitutional right to do so. We all know that's a load of garbage. You have to leave. You're not supposed to be in here. This is not public. Please leave. Who, who owns the federal government? Please, please. Who owns the federal Please government? Leave, sir. Who owns the federal government? Ma'am. Need to shirts, just calm down. Handsome. You said I was touching them. <laughs> That's a lie. False police report is a is a crime. You can leave. Go back to work. You're wasting my taxes.
Yeah. You're wasting my taxes. Okay. so dumb you are really dumb for real oh she's wasting your tax dollars uh yeah bullshit dude as i've stated before and as many people have stated before the post office is uh self-sustaining you bloody giblet head and at this point she is not exactly filing a false police report because trespassing laws do exist and you've experienced this over and over again but what's left of your soft mushy uh creamy brain hasn't exactly figured out that huh maybe uh it's a bad idea to get trespassed from every place on the planet oh boy dude you really are a moron you know that right many many minutes later How you doing? Yes, How you doing? Good. Can I just get your name and badge number, sir? Thank you. What was yours? I mean, your badge number? Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I was very vigilant in signage. Make sure there's nothing that said no trespassing or anything that would prohibit foot traffic or so pedestrian traffic. You see how this is fenced off? Yeah. So this is property that's going to be belonging to to the business here. The federal uh, public property, right, yeah, yeah. So, right, but it's not, you see how there's a lock on the fence and whatnot? So it's open yeah, now yeah. just for ingress and egress. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I was trying to explain to her. She wouldn't let me tell her. I'm not touching the vehicles, by the way, but um, I was explaining to her it's open. There's no signage that says, you know, we can't come back in here. I'm just getting some pictures and video of the, you know, vehicles that we pay for as taxpayers, and I'm not going to be back here too much longer. But she started making a scene. She's like, "All right, stay right there." So I stayed. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Well, I was waiting for you guys. Asking, yeah, so I can explain to you guys. Yeah. Do you have any ID on you? No, no. Why would I need to give you ID? Just so I know who you are. Well, what a stupid question from a very stupid person. Why would you have your ID with you? Well, would you ever go into a liquor store? Uh, they would ask for ID. Would you? Uh, Sign a contract for a cable service because you certainly would need an ID for that. Uh, there's a whole host of reasons why you would need to have your ID on you. But I guess these uh, complex answers are just way above your simple little mind, the Liberty Troll, aren't they? No, Sorry, no. I don't want to talk to. No, you know no, no crimes being committed. <laughs> My name is Zach. So can you go ahead and leave the property? I will in a little bit. I just want her to learn her lesson that this is, you know, it's on her because she doesn't have the proper signage up here. If there's no pedestrian traffic back here, they need to have a sign that says no trespassing yeah. or there needs to be something that prohibits, you know, no, such traffic. The whole gate. Okay. We don't have yeah, to yeah and it's wide open. Once you see these here, yeah, we'll we don't come back here. Yeah, so go ahead, leave the property right now because there is a boundary line that's yeah. that's uh, for this property that separates from the general public to this. their property. You don't have to say anything to her, but I'll probably be like a few more minutes after you guys leave. I'll head out just so they don't think you chased me out of here because that would defeat the whole purpose of what I'm what doing was here. Sorry? I said, if, once you guys leave, don't tell her this, but a few, I'd say about five minutes after you guys leave, I'll, I'll head out, probably less than that, just so she doesn't think you guys chased me out of here. Does that make I sense? Know. I mean, no, dude, that's not how it's going to work. You're not going to coerce these cops into letting you stay because, well, you're some kind of journalist or something like that. I mean, you have a simple option here. You can uh, go away, get off the property, or... You can uh, stay and uh, get arrested for trespassing. Either way, you're not going to be on this property for very much longer. It's because it's on her. You know, the reason this is wide open, you know, for Kingdom Come. I get it. Just walks and back I'm sure she's going to learn that lesson. Yeah, I'm sure and she will. we'll talk to her about the proper signs like you said. Yeah, yeah. Obviously and I won't did. leave. I'm not going to stay here <laughs> beyond closing hours or anything. Yeah. I think they close in an hour. So anyway, but I'll be out like a few minutes after you guys leave. So Okay, no. Well, well you're going to have to leave now. Well, yeah. okay. Federal, Let me ask you this. You seem like a decent here. guy. If, if I don't leave, what's going to happen? Potentially, it'll be trespass after warning. Yeah, yeah. So I'll leave. I'll leave with standing is what I'm trying to say. Like... I don't want to leave willingly, but I will leave under threat of arrest. That's what I'm getting at. Dumbass! 
You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. So, technically, this is their property. It was open for the vehicles to come in and out. But she has asked you to leave. So, that is, it would be trespassing at this point. Would it be the same if I was inside the building or outside the gate? Or is it just because I'm in, in, in the gate? Because if they asked me to leave and I was inside the building, would you guys try to enforce the trespass? Or is it just because we're out here? No, if you were inside the building and they asked you to leave, they're allowed to ask any yeah, but they building can't. to leave. And it's a they federal, would trespass yeah, yeah, yeah. you. It's a federal, it's a federal, uh, it's federal property, which is owned by the taxpayers. So that's my whole point here is that they can't just try, it's not a private business. You know what I mean? As a taxpayer, I have to be breaking the law, A, or B, I have to be disrupting business. What I was, what I was telling her was, I was asking if, it, if I was inside the building, let's we'll say, we'll say I wasn't out here um, inside this fenced in area. If I was inside the building, they asked that you guys have me trespass or leave. Would you guys enforce that trespass? If they simply just said, well, we don't want him here because he's filming or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be private property. It's not private property though. This is this is federal property, which means public. It's owned by the taxpayers. So it'd be just like going to a city hall or going into your uh, to your sheriff's office. I can go into the lobby area, uh, publicly accessible areas, film all day long until you guys close. There's nothing you guys could do about it. Right. I've actually done that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing with federal property. It's you know not state or county or city, but it is federal. So it's a government you know entity basically. So right. you blooming moron. You do realize that you are on a strip mall and that the uh, strip mall is owned privately by an organization or a person and uh, they lease out this space to the post office, which basically means the same uh, trespass rules apply. So if you want to get trespassed off the entire strip mall, then be my guest. I'm sure the police would uh, love to call the owner and uh, let them know that uh, how much of a bad little boy you've been on their property and uh, make sure that you do get arrested if you refuse to leave. I know so they're probably leasing their property, but it's again, it's a, it's a, it works the same as if it was like a standalone, you know, government okay. building. Yeah, I'm sure you've done this a couple of times. Oh, yeah. You said you've been to our office, our substation right there. I think so, I yeah. I know Detective Weaver over there. Okay. Good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. good guy. He's helping me with the case right now. With the case? <laughs> yeah. What kind of case is that? It's, a, it's another case that he's working on pertaining to recording in public. Okay. Where, where someone had the wrong idea that it was private, but it's not private. Like, this is not private property. This is, again, it's public property, federal property. So, so if they... If this were a private business, you know, it works a little bit differently. Somebody says, I don't want him here because, you know, it's my establishment. I own the place. If I if so, I look the wrong way, they can kick me out. But it's a, yeah. the, the, the way it works in public property. You have to be A, breaking the law, or B, disrupting business. Okay. And all so, it says is don't don't block the entrance, which, you know, I'm very careful not to do that. So. Okay. Well, you do understand that in the confines here, right, you've got the enclosure, the curtilage of this property here, right? It's fenced off right here, all the way to here. There's a lock on that fence right there as well, right? I understand. And there's other post offices that po that park their vehicles that doesn't have a fence, and you're allowed to go take a look at those. It doesn't have an fence. Doesn't necessarily make it make a diff unless you know it's closed off or have a sign that says no trespassing or prohibits foot traffic in any way. So. So basically, what I said at the beginning of the video is what they actually think that fences and gates are meaningless, that boundaries have no meaning to them whatsoever. Oh, boy, uh, why don't you come over to my house, uh, Frauditor, and see how much uh, boundaries really mean when you trespass into my place. That's all. And again, I'm going to be reasonable once you guys leave. A few minutes, a couple minutes after you guys leave, I'll head out. But I've already been inside, so I don't need to go in there. But um yeah. But it's, 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 it's public property, so the, it, the public rules or public laws pertain to that. It's not a private business. I'm just trying to help you not get those two things mixed oh, up. What's your first name? <laughs> My name's Zach. Zach. Zach? Oh. Yes, sir. All right, All right Zach. Well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not posing a problem back here. They you're can, not touching any vehicles? No, no, no. I mean, I could check the tires. or I'm not doing that, but I mean, technically, I could, you know, check the tires or something because we pay for the, the postal vehicles as well. I could, but I'm not trying to agitate her, you know what I'm saying? I'm just existing back here, basically, and taking pictures, so that's my purpose. But yeah, once you guys leave, I'll head out.
Um, otherwise, we can go the route if you, if you guys want to enforce the trespass, I'll leave under threat of arrest. Just mind you, if I get standing, then I will take it to court. I will hold you accountable. I don't want to do that. Yeah. If, if I wanted to do that, I would just be quiet and let you mess up. You know what I mean? I'm trying to educate and trying to you know work on my story. And once I'm done, I'll, I'll, I'll head out. So shortly, we, so. we believe that your rights? Um, so First Amendment yeah. rights, yeah. Free, freedom of press. Go yeah. ahead and infringe those, of course. So we're going to try yeah. to figure out talk to you yeah absolutely it's all consensual right <laughs> you know this frauditor's logic is uh wearing a bit thin on me so let's jump to the point where the uh, supervisor shows up and uh well makes it known that well he is supposed to leave so let's roll that beautiful bean footage shall we a little longer than a few minutes later Do you have a YouTube channel? yeah i got a hey how's it going man how you doing, sir? Name? My name is Zach. How are you? Hey, Zach. This, this, what's your name? Uh -uh. I need you to leave, sir. This is a representative from the post office. Okay. You may film on outside of that gate, but this property is considered theirs. They're asking you to leave. If you refuse to leave, you'll be subject to trespass after warning. Do you understand that? Real quick. Okay. So are you willing to leave? I'm willing to leave under threat of arrest, yes. Or uh, you get the guys, they're closing in like five minutes, so I'll be out before they leave. Well, I, yeah. I told her. Here, here's the thing. She yeah. asked you to leave. you got to leave now, or it's going to be considered trespass after warning. You At, right now, if I don't leave yes. right now? Okay, yes. so I'm under threat of arrest? Yes. Okay, cool. So I'll, talk, I'll talk to you right here. Yeah, yeah, I'll okay. talk to you out here. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Now, go ahead. Trespass after warning. Would you, yeah, so. would you need a driver's license and registration? Uh, or a driver's license for your information? Why would you need that, though? Okay, here's for the trespass gonna warning. She's going to give you a written trespass warning. That's fine. You're, if you'd like to give me your name and your information, that's fine. This is my first name's fine. My name's Zach. Okay. I don't mind giving that out. So, Daniel, he's yeah. doing the trespass warning. So, here's the trespass warning. They're going to issue him a trespass warning. His first name is Zach. Get his clothing description, everything physical about him. Yep. She can read the trespass warning. We can, she can sign it and we'll give him a copy of it. Okay. Thank you. She's got to she's got to put her name on it, right? For she's the one yeah, trespassing. Okay. Be Thank you. Appreciate so, it. Let me explain it. Okay. So here's that was quick. I really hope one day I can give like a training down at the sheriff's office. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bridge the gap with law enforcement. You know. Thank you, Zach, for cooperating. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I only left because I mean I would have left before they closed, but I mean I left under threat of arrest. I was hoping what I was telling them was I, th I think this was reasonable, you know, like like after you tell them, like, hey, make sure you guys have a sign right here. This is no trespassing or something that prohibits foot traffic, pedestrian traffic. Um, and I told him, I told them, your uh, your officers or deputies, that if um, if they would have educated them or talked to them about that and then left, I would leave like within two or three minutes after that, just so that it didn't appear like they chased me off. You know what I mean? Because that would take away the educational value. Um, right now, all there is is going to be a, a trespass warning. I understand. And you I just can't come back here. And, so that's just back here, right? I can't Correct. go back here. You can't go past that gate. Right. But, but I can go like inside and get services like stamps or whatever if uh, I wanted to go inside. I would just I would want to confirm that. So I don't. Let me, <laughs> like, let me see. Yeah, if you don't mind. You from the entire, you're, you, you'll be trespassed from this entire complex. Yeah, if but you could posts, double check, I appreciate it. Uh, I will tell you, uh, just yeah, not right. Like not right now. <laughs> Do you have a business card or something with your? I don't know if you're allowed to give out emails or not. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?